Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Austin's Daily Show. I'm sorry I've been gone for a little bit. I've been gone for a while now. But I'm back. You know, going through changes, moving, and all the rest of stuff. Um, today's topic is about uh, the Republicans. Did you guys actually see the vote today? The Republicans voted against uh, a bill that would create jobs in this country. And I was watching an MSNBC tonight, the air show. His question was, do you think the Republicans hate Obama more than the love for the country? 99% said it's the hate they have towards the president of the country. See, how do we punish the rest of the people just because of one person? You know, I was kind of surprised last time. You know, you remember winner of uh, New York, the rep, safe rep of uh, New York, because they said he sent a new picture. He was forced to resign, and there was a special election held in that uh, place in New York. Republican won the seat because that county they said they they voted against uh, the the Democrat because of the hate they have towards the president. I only have one question. Have you ever seen a broke president in the history of this country? The answer is no. President Obama can never be broke, nor his children, nor his immediate family, even if it's one term president. How do you actually elect a leader? A leader that came out from a poor home or a leader that came out from a rich home? Because if you're rich, you never, you never know poverty. You don't know how is it for uh, little people to go to store to purchase a, a gallon of milk, juice, because these things have been supplied to your house. They don't know what normal people feel. The president wanted, he want a job be that can help because a great job in this country. The Republican said no. He wanted, he wanted the billionaires and the millionaires to pay more taxes. The Republican said no. They call it uh, the job creator. If they are the one creating jobs, where are the jobs? A lot of people are unemployed, no job. You know, look at the Wall Street uh, protester. They are protesting what the billionaires and the millionaires are doing. The government just bail you out, but you have enough money to start paying yourself allowance, bonuses, all this crap. What happened to the little people? Like you call us. The poor people are the little people. When are we going to wake up and face the reality? You know, if you want to vote against the president because of uh, uh, whatever the reason might be, you know, it's up to you. I think it's a bad time for people to wake up and face the reality. Let's vote these Republicans out of office and put people there that will actually be dead who are concerned about the daily lives of people here of Americans. We, we should be tired of these people. They go out there, they, they go there and sing lies to people that are, that are full of hatred already towards, I would say, towards the minority. If you are not a racist person, if you are open-minded, the president is doing a great job. Not because he's black. I'm pretty sure because he came from a poor home. So he, know, he knows what an ordinary... American is going through. The millionaires and billionaires, if they're born rich, they don't know nothing about what we're going through. How can you tell me we are actually paying more taxes than millionaires and billionaires? Republicans call that fairness. They don't want to tax them because they are the ones buying the election for them. People wake up. Watch the news. It's time. And it's a good thing. You see, all these protests all over this country is a good thing. It's a reality and it's a wake up call for all these politicians, especially the Republicans. Anything that is good for the country, so long it came from the President of the United States, Barack Obama, they will say no to it. We should be tired of hearing that no from them. You cannot say every proposal this guy has is bad. When President Bush and Dick Cheney took us to Iraq, they voted for whatever he wanted. Come on, people, let's face up, let's wake up and face the reality. 
It's time to tell the Republican to wake up. Let's vote and each, each, each of them out of office so they can do their job. Whoever goes there, we know the people are feel, feeling what is going on. I believe me, they will do their job. Let's vote them all out because they're not doing what they're supposed to do. Don't judge the president of the country because of the color of his skin. Judge him by the content of what he's doing for this country. If we all can wake up and do all that, we should be good. What is Tea Party? Tea Party? What, what word? That's a three-letter word. Is there another word for what? You know what? We can talk about that another day. But don't get me started. But the thing is time for all of us to wake up and face reality. Because uh, I just watched a show uh, in uh, one of the states. I don't want to call the state. Let me put it that way. When uh, a guy asks one of the lady who is fighting to be a state senator that uh, they put uh, an, uh, a foreigner as a president and unintelligent. Come on. This man went to Harvard. You can call uh, president of the country an, an unintelligent man. That man has made, you know, a very good uh, decision running this country. Look at his foreign, uh, foreign uh, policy. He's the one that kept Bin uh, be Laden. Uh, Mama Gaddafi is gone. He's using diplomacy. He didn't go to uh, Libya as, oh, we are, we are United States of America, we can do whatever we want to do. No. He go through the umbrella of the UN. That they call that sense, single sense. That's what he did. May give that man an excellent credit instead of trying to criticize him. Let's support him. He's our president. Forget the color of his skin. Okay? You guys, you guys are gonna be here. Just be like I said, be open minded towards my show. It's not about racist racism, it's not about anything. It's just about reality. That's all I'm talking about. The unity of the country. How can we all put it together? Think about it. Give me, a, send me an email. Give me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. You take care of yourself. And God bless.